The World Environment Day calls for urgent changes in policies and choices so that future generations won't have to live a life without nature. We speak to musician Elena Morang of the Orang Ulu tribe of Borneo to discuss the relationship between the land and the people. I feel sad um, about that thought of future generations not knowing the beauty of the forest and the natural resources here in in Malaysia because I know for one that it has really enriched me and it has taught me so many good values um, nature itself the forest itself and I feel that if we have a generation that does not know that then who are we as Malaysians who are we as Southeast Asians who are we as um, Dayak people as Borneans um, I, I truly believe that identity is our identity is very closely linked to the environment, um, whether it's, you know, living by the sea, by the rivers, um, you know, at some point, maybe even just back to our grandparents' generation, we all lived very closely with nature. Elena believes through music, she is not only able to keep tradition alive, but also to educate the public about the importance of conserving the environment for future generations. When I think about my ancestors, the ones that created these instruments and the songs, they did not know any concrete, they didn't know money, they didn't know um, high-rise buildings. They really, at that time, only knew the natural environment, the world's oldest rainforest, the clear rivers. And you know, as artists and creators, we are always um, influenced and inspired by our immediate environment. So if we look at the traditional songs, they, they are 100% born out of nature. Um, they sing of rivers, they sing about the moon, they sing about the stars, and they sing about the soil. And even today when um, I write new songs, they always have metaphors of like the sounds of thunder, um, the wind that carries a song. And even the instrument itself, you know, it's, it's made from wood, it's made from a tree. The strings used to be made from rattan. Um, we stick on the frets with beeswax still. And so all these things like have kept me very, very close to nature. And I try to always tell these stories to, to the audience. 